Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing Coco Noir from the House of Chanel. One of my favorites in my collection that I don't really talk about a lot, at least not recently. Um, but when I first started my channel, I did rant and rave about this one quite a bit. So yeah, Coco Noir. This is such a beautiful scent. Um, take a look at this bottle. It's just so, so sexy. <laughs> it's one of the sexiest bottles I think that I own. Such a nice, simple design, very classy and elegant. Um, but yeah, Coco Noir was released in 2012. The notes in this one in the top are grapefruit, bergamot, and orange. The mid notes are rose, geranium, jasmine, narcissus, and peach. And the base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, olibanum, tonka, vanilla, white musk, cloves, and benzoin. So there are a lot of notes listed for this one. And Coco Noir opens. Hmm. <laughs> it opens as a clean citrusy musk. For the citruses, grapefruit and orange are listed, but for me, it's mostly a clean orange musk that's very sparkly, it's crisp, it's clean. And basically what I think about in the opening when I wear this is a glass of fizzy champagne and cutting up some oranges and some peach slices and put it into this cold glass of champagne, um, giving it a nice sparkly, bright, sweet kind of feeling. And it's gorgeous, the opening is fantastic. So after a few minutes in the mid of Coco Noir, it does lose a little bit of that sparkle. It's still a clean, fizzy, citrusy musk, but if you were to add some rose petals into this drink along with the peach and orange slices, that's what I get in the mid. So it kind of feels a little darker with that rose in here. Um, not super, super dark, but it gives me that feeling of darkness and sexiness, mysterious kind of vibes, um, and definitely a sexy kind of vibe in here. Finally, in the dry down of Coco Noir, it's basically a sweet and fruity musk with some creamy sandalwood notes as well. Uh, it does get sweeter as this one dries down, at least on my skin, so that vanilla and tonka bean is more prominent. And also, the texture, it feels thicker and denser. There's also patchouli in here, and then that mixes in with the fruits and, and the musk, and it's basically a gorgeous, uh, darker fruit chuli scent with a little bit of spice. So I would say this is a very complex scent, um, but as this one dries, the, the stages it goes through is just so wonderful. Um, the imagery that I get with this one whenever I wear it is a woman in a cocktail dress, a black dress, uh, red lipstick, and she's drinking that champagne or alcoholic drink, maybe some wine, red wine, or the champagne with the fruits in there with the rose petals. Uh, that's the imagery that I get and um, yeah, I really love this scent. I can't imagine not owning it. Um, I should wear it more, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful scent. It's probably my favorite from the Coco collection. I do really enjoy the original Coco EDP, which I do own as well. I love it as well, but I think this one I prefer a little bit more. It's just more wearable, more my style, and just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love this. Keep on saying that. <laughs> so yeah, that's my quick review on Coco Noir from the house of Chanel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.